CataractCoach.com. The 7L rule saves the day. Our guest surgeon does a great job of reorienting this IOL. Let me show you this case here. Pretty much a routine case. A little bit on the smaller side for the pupil, but not terrible. Using a nice technique here, bimanual IA with the irrigator used to lift up the iris. The aspirator can then go into the capsule bag and clean out all the way out to the equator. So nice clean capsule bag. Again, routine case. A little bit of cortex there being pulled out. That looks reasonable. But this is a case where there was some issue with the injector. Wow, big piece of cortex. You didn't see that one coming, did you? So in these cases, we put in these IOLs, it's our job to be very vigilant. Even with a preloaded lens, sometimes you can get a preloaded lens where it's not quite right in the injector. And so you got to be vigilant here. you got to watch carefully, and you got to be able to react at, as it happens. And this surgeon here does a really fantastic job of reorienting this lens. So I want to just show you that the cataract part of the surgery went fine. It's a nice, beautiful 5-millimeter rexus. The pupil is a little on the small side, but everything else is totally fine and normal. And so when your scrub tech loads this lens, sometimes your scrub tech can't really tell if there's a problem because guess what? Your scrub tech doesn't have the use of a microscope, and you do. So now filling our capsule bag here with viscoelastic, and now watch as the lens goes in. The 7L rule simply states that the leading haptic should come out like the number 7 and the trailing haptic like a capital letter L. So here you can see the tip of it looks a little funny. So the surgeon's already you know, tipped off to that. Hey, wait a minute, that's not quite right. See how the blue tip of that haptic's going towards the right instead of the left? So watch now. So as the lens comes inside the eye, slowly, 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 it's the wrong, that's not a seven, that's the wrong direction. So the surgeon stops, twists the cartridge, twists the whole thing, and reorients it. Look at that twist, beautiful. So that, that leading haptic comes out now like a number seven, and now the trailing haptic, of course, will look like a capital letter L. That's the 7L rule. And that helps a lot for these cases. So now the lens is in the correct orientation. So because the surgeon was vigilant and saw this, he was able to adapt and get that lens in a appropriate position. Now get that haptic in the bag, and this patient's going to have a normal outcome. But I think you may have that, that one haptic maybe in the sulcus, so maybe dial that in, or maybe just double check, maybe it is in the bag. But again, you have to have that 7L rule in your mind. Anytime you put these lenses in the eye, 100% of the time, when I'm implanting an eye well, I think 7L, 7L. Let's make sure the haptics look like 7 for the leading haptic, big, cap, big letter L for the trailing haptic. Then I'm happy. And of course, that forms the anti-S orientation. If you look at that lens in the eye and it looks like a letter S, well, that's S is for a silly mistake. Or people who aren't as sweet as me may say stupid mistake. S is for silly or S is for stupid. But either way, S is not what you want here. And, you know, if you do have an upside-down eye well in the eye, it oftentimes is not going to cause too much issue. But you've got pride in your game, right? You've got pride in the work that you do. You want things done right. So here at the end, ensuring the lens looks fine, removing viscoelastic, the rest of the case proceeds normally. So always keep in mind that 7L rule. Oh, nice technique here, going behind the eye well as well, washing out any viscoelastic. And again, I just want to lift up that iris a little bit just to check and see, make sure I can see the haptic and the optic edge underneath that rexus. And then this patient will have a beautiful outcome. So just because you're using a preloaded injector doesn't mean it's going to be perfect 100% of the time. Your scrub tech will do his or her best to help you. But remember, your scrub tech doesn't have the benefit of a microscope to look at such fine details. And if your scrub tech ends up being a little presbyopic, that makes it even tougher. So preloaded lenses, yes, a blessing. I think that's the way we're going to go. If you look at the future, it's going to be almost all preloaded lenses. And that's going to make life a lot easier for all of us. But beautiful case here, and I want to thank our guest surgeon for submitting such a nice video. And you will never forget that 7L rule, right? Of course not. 7L saves the day. Thanks for watching.